Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now we wow! One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is done. Team, so at least some fighting bigger weight divisions with a smaller fighter today. So just gotta make sure that the difficulty is on the hardest to get. Because, yep, greatest of all time. Alright, fight now. Let's start with go down to light heavy. Got here, Roy Jones, Joe Kill, Big, Craig Dawson, B Hop, ain't got many. That B Hop, eh? Who are we gonna fight? Probably to start off. Maybe the next Let's fight a Vanda. See how that goes. MGM Grant. Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Studis. Bernard Sean Hopkins is in the well, they are so, underway. Uh, Scheduled for ten rounds tonight between these two. Able <laughs> blocked that but away. It was targeted for his boy. head. <laughs> We're underway here. We've been talking in the lead up to this fight about who has the advantage with the speed. Well, we know who that is. As for his opponent, well, his opponent's going to have to come up with something else, and what he's going to have to come up with is timing. You know, timing can negate speed. How so? Well, just making sure that before your opponent starts, you time him. You beat him to the mark. You're not as fast as him. Guess what? The good news, this is not a sprint. This is a boxing match. You can beat him to the mark. All intents and purposes, you're faster. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Break the big boy down. <laughs> Look that combination by Evander Holyfield. <laughs> Evander Holyfield's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Each range can control the speed. Hopkins is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. To the head he goes with a left hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Oh, it's supposed to be upstairs. One. What? Bernard Hopkins going old school there. B hop with your basic one two. Hopkins is at his best Jeez. when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Noticeable. I'm used to having an inside fighter. I think you can just sense right away that strategy is slower. going to be key here. This isn't going to be some wild type raw. This is going to be a very technical, strategic type fight. Absolutely, Joe. Each guy waiting for the other one to make the first mistake. See, Bernard Hopkins has been having those silly gym wars for so many years now that it's just second nature to throw your punches in accurate combination form. He comes with a straight right hand. Rock em, sock em, uh, robots. Ooh, right yeah, from the start here, No defense, just pure offense. Oh, 
pushing. Oh, I'm not even moving. You still can't hit me. Look at it. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Look at that buddy. Oh, he and called me up to the bell wrist. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Oh, he used a bit much. He's landed a few body shots, I guess. Took a bit out of me. Here we go. Round two is underway. Be careful with what you get with. uppercut by Evander. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire is right back with one of his own. Good work by Evander Holyfield. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Super two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Scored well up top. Well played, straight right hand. Hopkins has landed a good, solid combination. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Evander Holyfield. Just take his guts out. Right to the belt line. Evander Holyfield's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Taking your body, Evander. Good block. You see him holding on. You're doing great. Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fashion your seatbelt. More turbulent ahead. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. The left hand coming into play by Evander. Pressure on him now. Clean shot with the right. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged Ooh. himself. Landed two, blocked one, then landed a three punch combination. Is doing well for oh, him. Step Good fundamental work, landing the one two there. Gets rid of that body shot. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make enough. him pay. Move, move. And that's the end of round two. He's doing Hopkins much. He's getting a bit aggressive. A getting getting button so happy here. Accurate. And Teddy, Cover some. if you want to have one single quality out there as an offensive fighter, accuracy is among the ones you want to have. Yeah, to be accurate, that means you have to be calm. And you have to be smart. That you know that you're putting the punches in certain specific places for a reason. And boxing is not just about the strongest guys. It's supposed to be, and it usually is, about the smartest guys. A headshot blocked. Hopkins is right hand working well that time. He scored well. He's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just a faster, quicker fighter. Can't and hit anything. That he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't ah. get reckless with that speed. <laughs>
another jab. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Nice! Nice! Nice work, nice work. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. That's a flush That's right. shot. We getting your body the now, boy. With the left hand. It's okay. Pay your back. Hopkins is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Bernard Hopkins' his combination punching is working well here. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. He comes back with the left hand again. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Get in. Scored well with that straight left. A Vander stunned and staggered. Oh, just trying to throw the uppercut to the Woo! body. Would have got him. It. That's it. I we'll get him. Around like that. Just like that, all right? A bit patient there because he good. blew our load. Blind to me. We start round number four. It's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. He got hit, but he sent it right back. Come on, Evander. Keep punching, buddy. I need you a bit more tired yet before I lay into you. Hopkins is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Now, this is exactly what I love out of offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a big, big shot he just scored with. Evander Holyfield down. Yeah, upstairs. Left hook down. Running up. Back it off. Then punch once. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts Comment to move along. Oh, he's going to find out exactly what he's made of. Ground. I just want you to wear out some more. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Evander Holyfield halfway through round number four solid shot the overhand left hey keep your hands up to the body. Evander Holyfield's looking for a way to get this fight back on course. A course that can get him a victory. This isn't it. Just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. <coughs> Bernard Hopkins is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Missed the body shot. Oh, 
much. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by Evander Holy. More loaded, but to recover. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Evander Holyfield's quarterman did a really good job, after a round in which their fighter was knocked down, of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. Donna! They just showed it. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Blocks away that headshot. Evander uh, Holyfield's oh, thinking right throw. now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it, it's really not the case, Ted. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away, so as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target. What are they doing right Let's now? Go. They're getting back to him. They're getting through to him. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. one by a Vander Holyfield. <laughs> Halfway into round number five here. Hopkins is not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Fight a Vander. Effective with that one-two. Good clean shot, return and fire. Well done by Evander Holyfield. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss. Make him pay. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Boxing 101. Jab followed by the straight. Committed to that jab, and he doesn't just throw uh, one out there, but brings the I'll second one load. immediately behind it. <laughs> End of the round I'll still is beat him, no, I And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into the nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Hopkins is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Man punches and punches. The combination Keep lands. Your head moving. There's the combo to the body. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Come on, kid, focus. Head moving. 
missed that uppercut. Fires right back at him. Holy Field's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Evander Holyfield's making up some ground now. I mean, what we just saw out of that last round, I think it closed the gap. He's losing on the scorecards, but I think he closed the gap a bit. Yeah, it's a good start for him. You know, one thing is you know that he it's understands. A, a lot of times the fight ends, and a guy puts his hands up. And says, what is he putting his hands up for? And he thinks he won the fight because he wasn't being honest with himself. He's being honest with himself. He knows where he's at. Cut. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And now you can see him zoning in on the target with that double jab. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Evander Holyfield's not having things go his way tonight, but there's one easy explanation for it. He's barely moving. He's just stationary there. And his opponent's taking great advantage of that. He's coming in, he's finding him, he's giving him angles. You know, I think part of it is frustration. He's not moving because he's being kept off balance. And right now, he's just not thinking right. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Hopkins is doing well here with that two-punch combination. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Come on, Hopkins is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Make up any ground on that one, did you, boss? That was that was Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds. He's got a commanding lead right now, and he's just been the more effective guy, Teddy. I love what he's doing. He's picking his spots, and when he does throw punches, they are purposeful. Yeah, they are. He's making everything count. As you said, he's got a reason for everything he does in there, and that's because he's calm. See, that's a talent, too. We always look at the other talents that are easier to wrap our minds around, you know, power, speed, but what about being calm? where you can see things, you can control things. This guy's a calm son of a gun.
Holyfield with a block. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good exchange. He fires back. Punch your way off the ropes. Come on, Hopkins is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combo. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. Away from the ropes. Hopkins is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Work the body, kid. Five shot. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Hopkins has got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good, his defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Good return fire that time. Hopkins is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. There you go. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Come on, kid. Bernard Hopkins' combination punching is working well here. Digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Take one to give one. Up Let's a combo return. Hopkins' approach that we just saw in that last round, it cannot continue. His work rate has to increase, doesn't it, Teddy? If he wants to win this fight, he doesn't want to just survive. And that is the question. And that is in his mind, in his heart. Nice combination there. Hopkins is way off the mark. What? That punch didn't have a chance. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Keep that head moving. Hopkins is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And he's holding. Off, you see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block? Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. <laughs> he clinches Get off. When he gets to the inside. <laughs> Comes right back at him with a left hand. Protecting his head well with his guard. <laughs> Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. <sighs> Able to dismiss that body shot. <laughs> Good, steady double jab there. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. 
both guys <laughs> unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy beats him, punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Oh. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. How about that exchange? And that's the end of round nine. Bernard Hopkins is in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Oh, what a whip by Evander Holyfield. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Evander Holyfield. Hopkins is work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness of that combination? Good defensive guard now by Evander Holyfield. And he engages the clinch. Hopkins is putting forth a great combination there. Holyfield blocks that punch. Come and get it. You're done. I can't knock you out. Man. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. A little double jab to the head. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Evander Holyfield. He's tight. He's tight. Hopkins is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Way to block there. Shot in. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Blocks that belt line well. Good back and Still won it, but that was a bit hard. Long. As for the ring side really trying to stop him. We silly man, silly, silly man. Decision. Bernard Hopkins' performance tonight was exactly what oh, he was looking around. for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. 60%. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a... Oh, see how far we can go. It's a light heavyweight. Middleweight. Marvin Hagler. Let's try Marvin Hagler.
Should we try Big George? Yeah, let's try Big George. So it might be too big. Maybe he's too big. We're trying Mike Tyson, eh? Mike Tyson, Marvin Hagler. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome Steady. to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Five Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Too much different in height. Come on, I want to see some Wait, All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one scheduled for ten. Power puncher versus the ultimate power puncher. How's it gonna go? Well, when you have more than power, it goes your way. Tyson has speed. He has a good style. He has an ability to be elusive. The other guy only has power. It's gonna go Tyson's way. He has too many weapons. Nice work to the midsection with the left. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting short upon. Right to the body. Well placed, well timed combo up top. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. How the fuck is Mike faster than Able to oh, cover up that gut. Bullshit. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. And he ties up on the inside. Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Marvin Hagler's got a field. Move, right Marvin. There. Jesus. By a big uppercut. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he has Get no off, Mike. On. You ain't never gonna see. Let it go. A little defense turns to offense by Marvin Hagler. Teddy of Prime, Mike Tyson here, has so many KO1s sprinkled across his record. Do you expect those kind of fireworks early on here? Yeah, for a couple reasons. He understands the history. He's a history student. He likes the legacy. He wants to be like Jack Dempsey. All those fighters of the past where he's ferocious. And also, he wants to send a signal to future opponents that you should not get in the ring with him. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. <laughs> He scored well after being hit himself. Big shot, the left crashed home. Wow, what an uppercut. Tyson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Come to the end of the round. Punches ain't really doing always much interesting to see how things will play out in our fights. Teddy, it's always great anticipation when we come sit ringside in the buildup of what's going to happen. Yeah, it is. And it's always great having a little electricity in the crowd. You know, it helps. I know it helps me with the broadcast to Hagel. know that you have these passionate fans that are around. It's bullshit. <laughs> He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole, it was closed. Just take a look oh, at Oh, fuck off. Right now. You can see that I was just standing here with my block up, and he just punches straight through it. Took a shot, now he gives a left. by an uppercut. Huge uppercut by Tyson. And now just Get wasting off, everybody's Mike, time. Get off, Mike, come on. on. 
Teddy, there have been those who have gone the distance with the prime Mike Tyson, but they never really gave those. you the sense that they were capable of winning and doing so. Because they did not have that belief, that sense themselves. They got to a point where they were a co-conspirator to their own demise, that they were cooperating with the wrong guy, with the enemy. They were not looking to win. They were hoping to either survive or get the hell out of there. They used to make silent agreements on the inside. When they had opportunities to work, they didn't work. They put their hands behind Tyson and they hoped that he would hold on and they would get a free ride. That if they didn't hurt him, Mike Tyson is rocked by a big shot there. What a wild round as both men have been affected. Oh, how come all my fucking punches are missing? Trying to cheat me, game. Fine looking right hand by Mike Tyson. Hackers left now getting into the mix. really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there and that's land a good solid jab oh and he returns fire with a left hand good block by mike tyson mike tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that <laughs> everything i throw is missing get the combination working Even land both punches no. push straight look and do shit marvelous marvin has to buy himself here. some time That's the kind of oh, Mark's running that in. Tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys. Are. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you do all your work in the gym, that you're in shape because more to come. Very accurate two punch combo by Marvin Hagler. Get off, Grabbing Mike. On to his opponent. Marvin Hagler is doing well here with that two punch combination. And he returns on that exchange. That's it, baby. Good job. Good job. <sighs> hmm. A good block by Marvin Hagler. And now they're trading blows. Nice. A little volume punching to the body there. Off target with that hook. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Still not moving enough. Come on now, move. Move. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Keep your head, move, watch the hook, watch the hook, come on. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Marvin Hagler. Halfway through this round. Hey, you gotta get some of that too now, come on, let's go. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. <laughs> He fires back a right hand of his own. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Now he's sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Hit the body, baby. Body blow. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Nice block by Marvin Hagler. No head movement, and he's getting tagged. That's well done. Little ring generalship there, getting him stuck in the corner. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Keep it up. Keep it up. Wow. He was just bulldozed.
I just one punch KO'd Mike Tyson with fucking Marvin Hagler. Oh my god. <laughs> this cracker. Middleweight beats the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. to welter and do it. I have trouble with Marvin against one of the So that's all it took. One good shot. Mike Tyson's career hits a major speed bump tonight. Well, there were doubts about his beard coming in, and those doubts were realized. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe. If they'll let us do well to be funny. Well to wait. Ricky hit. Thomas hits. Miguel Conte. Tommy Hearns, eh? Tommy Hearns at Wellsway. Let's see if we can still get Mike Tyson. <coughs> oh, they won't let us. They won't let us. Look at this. The two boxes cannot be more than two weight divisions. Oh, well, we can't do that. Go back up to here. Try someone else. What colors do you want to make it take? Jermaine Taylor. Jacobs, shit. Here's Lady Lara. Shit, they got a few in here. Here's Lady Lara, still active, and they got a many. Young George. Let's go. Last one, folks. We'll wrap this good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas. This is a good way for training. You, the MGM Grand here on the Vegas you can't just trip go in and blast people out Las when you're Vegas, too weak, which is lower. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Box. 
A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a go. Oh. Remember, double up the plan. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This a 10 rounder. Really good. Keep working the body. Fighting fire with fire sometimes can work, but can it work? under circumstances like this, when a power puncher is going up against George Foreman. Yeah, it can. In other words, you have to have a little defense to go with that ability to generate fire, or in this case, power. George Foreman's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. On the mark with that hook by Andre Bishop. Foreman with a big uppercut. A well-placed left hand up top. Oh, and they decide to trade there. How about that left hand? Good flush shot by Andre Bishop. That is a strong uppercut there. Scores with the combo to the head. Come on, kid. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Right, don't I? Takes one, oh, but gets yeah, one. Good work yeah. by George Foreman. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Solid hook. There's the hook. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. Teddy, you buy a ticket to a George Foreman fight, clearly you want to see one thing. Yeah, you want to see a knockout, and you're going to see power. And you know you're going to see the ability to catch somebody on both ends, because as dangerous as Foreman is, and as intimidating as he can be on the offensive end, he can be exploited that much on the defensive end. He leaves himself open. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this so time he fast. adds the right hand on the back end. Finish with the hook. Andre Bishop will need George Foreman is always dangerous, but right now George Foreman is in survival. Big shot there. How about that power shot? And how about the reverb that's going about a county away with Big George hitting the Oh, it was a Daniel Dubois shot. It was on the belt, rising. Oh. Lie on the floor and have a cry, George. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And we come to the end of round number one. Bishop's very accurate, and you can see it even early on in this fight, Teddy. He just has a target from long range that he can hit upon, and it's his opponent's head. Well, what he's doing is he's acting like a real team. And the ref says no low blows. He gives him the warning. Nice block by Andre Bishop. Foreman's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punch. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has for you, Georgie their boy. eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, so I want to see if they're steady. Must have three. They're firm, 20 punches, and he might have landed one. The next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know Throws and misses, or just step in. And throw the power hook on the way in. Step to range, step out, 
You think back to Power George Foreman and his early Power days. And Power Hope. One of the Power visions that Power most Hope. fans remember is holding that tiny little American flag in the Mexico City Olympic Games in 1968 after claiming gold. You know, that's an interesting point because Foreman turned on as a guy with great personality. You know, he's a guy who's a disdainful looking guy. You know, he's a guy that kind of reminds you almost of a sunny list. He tries to intimidate you. He does intimidate you with his power, with his He's size. But at that way. moment, he showed that he has personality that is inside him. Step in hook. Up top with the right hand. Step in left hook. Right, the right hook. There. Push. What a big oh. shot from yeah, George Foreman. Jesus, block ain't working. Tried to land that. Oh, what happened, Georgie? Backed up, then, bro. What happened? Andre Bishop's in a good rhythm. Oosh. Teddy, what is that? A credit to him? Oosh. You know, also it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Oosh. Background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. Jab. Oosh. Jab. Oosh. But way off to the side with the uppercut. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Left hook. Oh, come and on. that's the end of round two. George Foreman's head has turned into one big target for his opponent. Teddy, he cannot get out of the way of this attack. No, he acts like a guy who gets insulted if you miss him. Yeah, good start. Bishop's able to avoid that punch. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Ah. He's just about ready to go. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Andre Bishop. Another huge step in. comes in early on in this fight. Stephen right hook. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Where's the body? Strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Halfway through this round here. Well, ah. supposed to be fighting, but instead... Jab down, hook. Jab down, Andre hook. Andre Bishop, ah. training really paid off. Down, hook, up, hook. Basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Up, jab. Jab straight. Up, cut, over the top. Hook down, hook up. Hook. Down, That's what Andre Bishop up. wants to do right there. Straight. Right in the right hand. Nice. Yeah, but, yeah, Lord, wow! Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Moving. One, he gonna get up. Two, he three, goes down again in this round. He's done. Five, he's, six, he's just done. Nine, oh, he got rumbled in the jungle, bro. Fight. Foreman's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. <sighs> you know, big judge. So it may have been kids. scheduled to go longer, but he just rescheduled it. Done. Over. Fiend. Knockout victory. This matches up with any of the great punches throughout this sport. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. 58% is pretty good. 59 on power. 8% counts. Should be more again. So, that's us. That's me doing some power. Enjoyed. 
make sure you hit the like if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss future content. I'm Big Boys Boxing and for now, I'm out. So